Wasn't such a great looking horizon. Uh, that is how it looked at uh, six o'clock at night looking west from Dallas. See all the haze that was going on and got that strange light going on as well. Kind of the violet look to the sky. 75 was the high today. 75 degrees. That's more typical really of April, but we had uh, temperatures in the mid 70s, which meant it was the warmest day we've had this year and also the warmest day we've had since uh, December 10th. So unusually warm out there, unusually warm morning as well. 54 degrees was the morning low. By the way, that's about the daytime high tomorrow. Uh, wind gusts, you probably noticed these. We're under a wind advisory. We were under a wind advisory most of the day. Of all the locations, the DFW Airport reported the biggest wind, a 58 mile per hour wind gust. At Alliance, it was 54 mile per hour wind gust. Jacksboro had one at 49 miles per hour. So, all that strong wind coming out of the west picked up all that dust and brought it into the Metroplex. Now, the winds are picking up again because we got another front coming through. And behind this second front from the northwest, a northwest wind and strong winds will be going on through the overnight hours and bringing temperatures down. Now we expect to wake up tomorrow morning temperatures right around 40 degrees. They'll be in the mid 30s up in Gainesville and up in Bowie. Denton will be in the 30s. And as we look up to the north, we see this really cold air. This is the storm system, by the way, that gave us the big wind and the rain this morning, and it is still churning. In fact, it's only getting stronger as it heads into the Ohio Valley. These are winter storm watches and winter storm watches that are in effect and some warnings as well, because you can see the big snow band heading into the Ohio Valley and Great Lakes. This ends up in New England over the next couple of days, and it's a big snowstorm for them. Hour by hour for our area shows we start around 40. We end up in the mid 50s. High temperatures will rebound. We'll slowly climb up as we start February. We'll end up about 70 degrees on Thursday before the next front comes through, and it looks like the next rain chances as well. This again, if you're traveling up into the East Coast, you're going to run into some problems with all the snow. But this, that system coming out of the desert southwest, that's our next rain chance. That's Thursday and Friday. Seven day forecast shows the climb up of temperatures before the next rain chance in the next front. And it does look like next weekend we are going to have much cooler weather.